Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install MailPit on Runtippy using Big Bear Runtippy. It's a third-party app store. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today on Run Tippy. It's called Mail Pit. And it's an email and SMTP testing tool with API for developers. Um, so uh, when you install apps on your home lab and they require an email or SMTP server um, to get a login link or a one-time token or anything like that, you can set up this and then you can use the SMTP server and send e emails to this. So uh, they'll be in a list. You can search them. Uh, you, you have an inbox and everything. So you can get to all your emails that you get from those uh, local apps. Uh, this is what it looks like. And um, uh, some of the features are single binary, no dependencies, new message notifications, HTML compatibility checker, integrated link checker, spam testing, uh, screenshot generator, advanced mail search, REST API, pop free server, message tagging, message relaying, and webhook. So this is a really cool tool and way we'll be installing it today on Run Tippy. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Run Tippy. Um, there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And also I did make a video on how to install it on your Run Tippy. Um, so uh, we need to go over to the uh, search over here and type mail pit and then I'm going to go into apps and mail pit right here So now the metadata will be the description for the app store and then the logo and Then the config.json so the scheme the name the port that you'll go in through the proxy and then available true exposable true the ID is mail pit the Tibby version, the version, and then the force expose uh, categories, which is email, the description of the app, the short description, and then the author of the app, and then the source, and then form fields and supported architectures are ARM64 and AMD64. And then now I'm going to go over the Docker and Pose. So version 3.9 of Docker and Pose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called MailPit. The container name is going to be called MailPit. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then the ports right here. So the app port is the port from the config.json over here of port right here. And that's 8025. And then on the container port is 8025. So the host port and then the container port and then same with this one, 1025 on the host and 1025 on the container. Uh, so now volumes, so app directory and then data, mail pit, this is dynamic. And um, on the container side is app data. So the left side is host, the right side is the container. And then now environment variables, uh, the ta time zone is set to U UTC. And then networks, we're going to put it in the Tippy main network. And then we're going to set up the traffic for the proxy. So it's going to, tra uh, it's going to proxy into the container. Um, so uh, the traffic main and then traffic web and then the web secure, local domain, and then the local domain secure. So that's a little bit about the files in Big Bear Run Tippy. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my run tippy. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go up to Search and type Mail. So, so now you see right here, Mail Pit. I'm going to click it. Then you see the info from Big Bear Run Tippy. 
and the uh, the base info, which comes uh, uh, from the config.json. Um, so I'm going to say install. So your options are you can display on guest a dashboard, you can expose the app. I'm going to press install. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and getting up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. And um, now you can stop it, you can open it, and you can go to settings. Again, you can display on guest dashboard, expose app, or you can reset the app, or you can update the app. Um, uh, if you cl a click, a click these, you just press the update button. So that's uh, installing M MailPit on RunTippy. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Scripts. Um, I'm going to go over to search right here and type SMTP. And then now I'm gonna go to the test SMTP connection. And then um, you'll need to copy this right here. And, um, and I'm gonna go into the run.sh. So um, this script is intended to test your SMTP server and send a, uh, t a test email to it. Um, so uh, we'll be sending an email to our mail pit that we just installed on RunTippy. So I'm gonna set some default values up here, uh, the default SMTP server, the SMTP port, and sender, recipient, subject, and message. And this is sent, uh, set up on 1025, and that's what uh, our server listens uh, on on MailPit. So now um, it's gonna ask the user to, uh, if they want to change those default values up here. So um, now it's going to send the email with Telnet down here, and then send it. So the script's pretty simple and it tests uh, your SMTP server. So now I'm gonna run the command um, that I copied over in Big Bear Scripts and I explained. So I pasted it in, so I'm gonna run it. So return or enter. So now it's gonna ask you for the SMTP ser server. That will be your IP address to your run tippy. So I'm going to uh, pa paste it in, then I'm gonna return or enter. It's now asking you uh, to enter your SMTP port and that will be uh, 1025 because I have the script set up to test MailPit. Um, so I'm going to return or enter to go with the default. I'm gonna go with the default on the sender email and the recipient email and the email subject and the message body. So once we do that, it's going to send it off. So. The mail is successfully sent, so I'm gonna go over to my mail pit and see if it's in there. So now I'm gonna start on my run tippy. I'm gonna go to maps and then mail pit right here. I'm gonna click it. Then I'm gonna go into open right here. I'm gonna go to the IP address. So now you can see that the test email is here, so it did work. And you can search the mailbox up here. You can go to inbox. You can mark all as red and then confirm and then you've read them all. Um, you can delete all the emails. You can uh, set, say how many you want sh shown here. Um, so I'm gonna go into the email. So you can see the message date, the size, the from, the to, the, uh, the blind carbon copy, and then a subject, and then tags. You can see the body right here, and you can see HTML source, text, headers, and raw. And then you can go to HTML check. And you can also go to link check right here. Um, so you can go down here and go to the cog and you can ch uh, change the theme, the time zone, and um, the user auto generated ta tag colors, show HTML check a message ta tab and show link check a message tab. You can uncheck mark those or check mark them. Um, you can go up here to download the uh, the body, so a raw message, HTML body, HTML screenshot, and text body. You can also switch this to mobile, the tablet, and then the desktop, and, and then the desktop. You can also mark as unread up here, and then now you have unread emails. Um, you can go up here to search, and then. It says no results, and then if you go to default, now it shows the email. So that's a little bit about MailPit and how it works. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting MailPit running on RunTippy using Big Bear RunTippy, a third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. 
And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.